Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Vignesh J. I'm a certified snoring and sleep apnea specialist. I'm also a ENT and a head and neck onco surgeon with special interest in pediatric obstructive sleep apnea. So what does this term pediatric obstructive sleep apnea? Pediatric, that means children between the age of 2 to 15 years and what does obstructive sleep apnea mean? Apnea means air hunger. Obstruction during sleep causing lack of oxygen to the kids breathing during sleep is known as obstructive sleep apnea. Through a series of our videos, we are going to educate you what are the symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea, what are the signs of pediatric sleep apnea and also what do we do, how do we evaluate and how do we manage all of them. And to kickstart this videos, I'm going to tell you why is it so important? Why is a kid's breathing so important? Pediatric age group, that is kids snoring, why is it so important? Is snoring a normal physiological phenomenon or abnormal or is it a nuisance to the family members? So all these queries will be addressed in your further videos. So to start with, is snoring normal in children? No. Is mouth breathing common in children or is it normal in children? No. So what does this signify? So our upper airway, if you take any kid's upper airway, say if you're looking the kid from the side, this is our nose, this is our throat. So any obstruction right from the tip of the nose to the back of the nose and in the throat can cause the child to breathe more through the mouth than through the nose. We all are destined to breathe through our nose. God has made us in such a way that we all breathe through our nose because it has certain important functions. When we bypass this important mechanism of nasal breathing and get adjusted to mouth breathing, it has a lot of implications, negative implications in the child's growth and development. So all these in further videos, we will be educating you about the consequences of mouth breathing, the consequences of snoring and the consequences of pediatric obstructive sleep apnea in our further videos. So please stay tuned and we will be educating you in our series of videos. Thank you.